Hi there stranger and glory to Ukraine. Let's finally defeat this King Stag Beetle and go back home. At the time of recording this guide, King Stag Beetle is the fourth and final available boss in the storyline of the game. Technically, there are two more bosses in Smallen, but quests to defeat them are not yet given in the early version of the game. The quest to defeat King Stag Beetle, like the previous one, is given by the NPC knock immediately after the player defeats Black Hornet. The boss lives in a large cave in the eastern part of the ruins. Its location on the map is marked with a special icon. You can left-click on the icon to make it appear on the compass when the map is closed. Despite the fact that King Stag Beetle is in my personal opinion the weakest boss in the game, newcomers should still prepare for the battle. First equip your character with an Iron Wing armor set. After defeating Black Hornet the NPC Knock offers the opportunity to craft a new armor set called Iron Wing. Currently, this is the best armor in the game in terms of its stats. It will provide you with reliable protection against the boss's attacks. Additionally, you'll be able to use the built-in winglets, once belonging to Black Hornet, integrated into the cuirass to glide instead of falling, covering very large distances. This will significantly simplify traveling in the world. You should also create iron weapons if you don't have them yet. As a reminder, they are created using a forge, which becomes available for construction after smelting the first iron ingot in a furnace. The main challenge for the player on the way to iron weapons will be the clay mortal, which is required for building the forge. It is created in the windmill from one bug's lymph and two clay. Clay, in turn, can be mined with a pickaxe in the ruins where King Stag Beetle resides. The deposits of this resource are located on vertical surfaces, rocks, walls, and look like small brown outgrowths. Since clay is mainly used for constructing walls and foundations, you will need only 10 units of this resource to set up the forge. As for the boss itself, King Stag Beetle has a slight resistance to piercing damage, so any weapon with blunt or edged damage is suitable for battling it, sword, club, hammer, or scythe. However, you can use any available weapon, since the boss doesn't pose a significant threat to the player overall. Before the fight, be sure to stock up on health elixirs and create at least one stamina tonic. This will allow you to quickly restore health in battle and increase your natural stamina regeneration as well as its maximum amount. Also, set up a bed near the cave to have an active respawn point in case of failure. King Stag Beetle has only one attack. The boss grabs the player with its large pincers, dealing medium damage. This attack has no preparation, so it's as easy to dodge as the attacks of any regular mob in the game. All you need to do is roll to the side or towards the boss in a timely manner and strike back a few times. When the health drops below 60%, use a health elixir. After defeating the boss, don't forget to take the Ancient Clover Seal and deliver it to the Elder. The Elder will ask you to open the chest mentioned at the beginning of the game, and you will find out what's inside. Unfortunately, after that, the storyline of the early access version of Small N ends. However, as a reward for killing King Stag Beetle, you will receive the Damselfly Treat Recipe, which allows you to tame damselflies and ride them. Looking ahead, I note that damselflies have limited flight capabilities, so don't have false expectations in this regard. Well. With that I bid you farewell. If you found it interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Peace and kindness. Bye.